Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a cube. Go under create. Uh, polygon primitives. We're only going to be working in polygons until uh, we get into more advanced stuff. And the second one down is cube. You'll notice there's a little square out to the side. Whenever you see these little squares, that means that you can change the tool settings by clicking on this. The default is uh, a one by one by one cube with uh, width subdivisions of one, height subdivisions of one, and depth subdivisions also of one. Uh, we're going to leave all of those the way they are. If I click on the grid, what that did by clicking on the uh, little square is it opened the tool for creating a cube. I want to actually create the cube and not just uh, click on the grid because I want it to be on the zero axis. So again, I'm going to go under polygon primitives and turn off interactive creation if you don't want to. Um, Yeah, if you want to uh, create it by default on the zero axis, that's the way I, pr I prefer to work is by uh, creating it by default uh, right in the middle on the zero axis. Okay, so let's see what we have. I am holding down the alt key and left mouse button to orbit my object. If I hold down the right mouse button, I'll move in and out while holding down the alt key. If I hold down the middle mouse button, I will truck around, okay? So again, you can also use, and this is the tool I prefer, the middle mouse, meal, middle mouse wheel to uh, get closer and farther to truck in and out. The uh, left mouse button and alt to orbit. And this is going to orbit the selected object. And the um, alt and middle mouse button to uh, truck the camera around truck or track, whatever term you prefer. Okay, so now I have a cube. Next thing we're going to do is start to modify this cube to uh, look more like a hammer. 